it just showing you off. You can now. drive all the way to the ring in it and it's just fine. <laughs> and you like, won't get heat stroke. Crews can try it up. I won't be sweating, I'll have to right. start. Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. Welcome back to Golf Art to the channel today. This is actually the current daily driver for one main reason. I'm not gonna go into it today, but <laughs> there'll probably be a video update uh, sometime quite soon. But yeah, I've been using this car every day. It's actually quite fun, to be honest. Um, today we're talking all about gearbox. Now, if you know about this car, you'll know that it is a manual, running about 500 horsepower, and you probably know all of the modifications that are on it. Pretty much a full track car for the road. Should I have bought a DSG? That is the ultimate question, a question which I get asked a lot. I did have a DSG Golf R before in the form of a facelift, a Mark 7.5. I wanted to switch it up when buying this car. I knew my plans for turning it into a track car. So I thought, let's just go for the driver involvement value and go for a manual. However, today we're gonna to be joined with a good friend of mine, Henry. He has a very similar Golf R to mine in many ways. However, his is DSG. So we're gonna go out on his, basically see what it's like. His is actually running pretty much the same power as this as well. Um, so it should be good fun. But ultimately, should I have bought a DSG car rather than a manual one to turn into a track car? This car for me though is my absolute forever car, a car which I will never sell, but a car I've had already for about two years, completely stock when I bought it, and it was actually the cheapest non-categorized car on the market when I did buy it. Um, and so everything you see on this car has been done in my ownership. To all the crazy aero, the ridiculous wheels, all the performance modifications, and of course, the full interior build in here as well. We've been busy in my ownership, and to be honest, there's still a lot more to do. But as I mentioned, today is all about the gearbox. A lot of people actually ask me when they see the car, they're like, is that a sequential? It looks it, it's not. It's the normal H pattern gearbox, the factory gearbox, just with a Cooler Works short shifter on there. But what we'll do, we'll catch up with Henry, have a little look around his car, because as I said, his car is quite similar to mine in many ways, but he has done some slightly different things here and there as well before we go out on it and experience it to see what a Golf R with similar power as mine is like with the alternative gearbox. Okay, we're joined now with Henry. Welcome to the channel, finally. Hello. <laughs> So I've known Henry for a little while. We've done some track days before, both golfs. Uh, they're both pretty evenly matched, right? Yeah, they did it right. Of. Tiny yeah. turbo versus yeah. big turbo. Because yours is the Turbo Technics Hybrid. The right. tiny one, V3. The tiny one, yeah, and I've got the V5. <laughs> yeah, slightly unfair, but it's fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, your car, similar to mine in a lot of ways, apart from a few very important ones, mainly the, the gearbox. Yours is obviously DSG, which I'm intrigued to experience to see what it's like it's just compared better to. better for track. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's what everyone tells me. <laughs> that's the real, that's the come down to it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, talk to us about yours, basically. Uh, stage three MRC. Mm -hmm. Just over 500 horsepower, 600 newton meters. Nice. But then I got map switching, so on track I run it with less torque, 580 PS, 540 newton meters, uh -huh. area wing, area splitter, TCR bonnet vent. I'm going to show you this because I want I want to do this to mine. There's a few things on on Just yours which I want to do. Just keep cutting. <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, and you've done it all yourself, right? Yeah, it's been a long project. It started as a completely standard car. Then went stage one and stage two, yeah. bags and wheels. Uh -huh. Then it went to lowering springs and now it's turned into a monstrosity of a race car. <laughs> a great. DIY race car? Yeah, and just cut the arches on my drive, just like Why it'll not? be fine. And then just stick these on. Yeah. 275 AR1s all round. Touring car pads, yeah. yellow speed calipers, Bill Stein Club Sports. Uh, super Pro front arms, hard race rear arms all round. Yeah. All corner balanced and set up ready to go. Fair enough. But yeah, it's all good fun. Fair play. But yeah, we had we had an awesome uh, awesome couple of sessions uh, of players at Goodwood with both of them, and they they are literally neck and neck pretty much. Yeah, very similar. Car. Very very similar. But obviously, interior wise on yours, you haven't done a cage yet. Street car, still got reverse. Uh, mate, camera. you still got sunroof. <laughs> reversing camera, cruise control, aircon. It's yeah. a street car. It is. It is. But obviously, completely stripped anyway, just without a cage. But half cage is on the. On the agenda, right? When I have funds. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to the ring, it's fine. Yeah, true, that's true. Yeah, More space in the back. But... Harnesses are needed. Yeah. There we next with a half cage. Taking a little look in the bonnet though. 
quick release. Cool, cool. So yeah, hybrid in the back, just straight turbo back exhaust. Downpipe, no yeah. Miltec cat back. What kind of cooling you got on it? Because I'm struggling with cooling at the moment. Uh, IA bed adapter that comes in, just there takes out the heat exchanger, mm -hmm. goes into a oil stat and then down to a 19 row cooler. Wagner intercooler, new yeah. AC uh, radiator because they just block it up. Okay. And then just cut everything away that's in your way. <laughs> Literally. Even the crash bar, you cut holes there. <laughs> just so you can get that little bit cooler. Uh, fair a, play. A big vent in the bonnet and it's fine. Fair play. And one thing I am going to talk about actually is you have the same splitter as me. And we both know that my splitter is <laughs> definitely a talking point on my channel. So you've, you've done what I'm going to do. Cut yeah, it down. I, I did that straight away. And, cut it and, and paint, paint it black. It. Whereas I'm an idiot and I just I just run it for a bit. <laughs> but yeah, what do you guys think of this now? This is what mine will look like, okay? But yeah, I mean, some quite a long list of similar mods on it, really. Yeah, but yeah, quite a few. I've, I don't think I've experienced a 500 brake DSG 7R. I've been in more powerful ones, but it, then again, they, they behave differently. A lot of people say it feels slower than a GTI. Yeah? Just because the traction. Yeah. And then the gears are a lot more smooth. You're not banging it through gears. True. It just feels like it's not as theatrical, but quicker. So. Yeah, no, that's fair enough. So yeah, we'll get in, get it fired up and well, go and see what it's like really. See how it compares to, to mine. <laughs> it's a street car though, so it's different. It is, yeah, it was going to be comfier. So I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> be an idiot and I'll like <laughs> just swap one out <laughs> or just go sequential. <laughs> yeah, definitely an option. <laughs> it's a bit pricey version of a DSG. Pretty much. But yeah literally I think one of my favourite moments on track was both of these around Goodwood. Yeah, we definitely did some good laps yeah. that everyone saw. <laughs> and then you kept on you kept, literally every lap at the back straight you would overtake me because I'd go in limp mode and I'd have to like reset it. Well, that sounds a lot like car building. Yeah, I did, yeah, yeah, but at least I've got sunroof. Yeah, well, mine did make full laps, so <laughs> I, I know enough. which one I'm choosing. You get, you get the nice light in. <laughs> <laughs> it's less bangy than yours. It's still bangy. It, yeah, it's, it's a lot quieter, but it's still loud in it. You could just use cruise control, reverse camera, pan roof. <laughs> You no, you're, air just, you're just showing you off You can now. drive all the way to the ring in it and it's just fine. <laughs> you that? won't get heat stroke. Cruise control, I'm, I won't be sweating, I won't have to stop. <laughs> I have cruise control, but it depends on when I start the car, if the error comes up first, saying it doesn't work. Sometimes it, yeah. Yeah, that sounds like it works flawlessly, though. Yeah, yeah. So you've got switchable maps on this, right? Yeah. So how many? Four? Three? Four maps and a kill map. Ooh. And we're in top map. Yeah, the minute. We're 505, 600 newton meters. 
But yeah, it's got uh, a low boost map for when I end up running rubbish fuel. Yeah. If I ever get stuck somewhere, which yeah. is just 450 PS, yeah. uh, 530 newton meters. Mm -hmm. Then I've got 99, which I always run Tesco, which yeah. is uh, 485 PS, 585 newton meters. Then I've got 99 plus octane booster, which we're in now, which yeah. is 505 PS, nice. 605 newton meters. Just so I got that 500 number. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you don't have 500, everyone says it's not a stage three. Yeah, exactly, like, no, yeah. it doesn't count. And then no, everyone's a little me at like 502. Just, yeah, just get over. Just got to make that, and then yeah. everyone says it's officially stage three. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then for track, I've got 480 PS, but with lower torque, so it's more playful yeah. in the corners. Yeah, gotcha. which is switchable so I can just knock it over it'll be full manual it won't shift at all yeah and then I've got adjustable launch control nice so I can launch it at three different settings yeah so it's so, all just little tricks that you can yeah. play one thing I've noticed as well is how how cold this thing runs yeah it's pretty like, like we're now at 80 degrees yeah but like 80 degrees oil temp 78 degrees oil temp mine <laughs> would literally be on about 104 <laughs> right now <laughs> yeah, I want it to lap and lap and lap. Literally. When I'm driving mine, say, at Goodwood, for example, it was sitting about 110, 115, maybe. So I find very much depending on what oil I'm running, oh. on how hot it runs. Yeah. So I run it on Castrol, and it runs really hot. Mm. I got it up to 128. But yeah. normally I use Quantum, just standard Audi oil. Yeah. And it runs low all day long. Like, I haven't seen it go above 120, lapping it for half an hour or so. Really? Just keep bashing it around. Flipping out. I mean, the massive... <laughs> the big holes cut hole out of it. The yeah, they help, they help quite Have you got any auxiliary coolers or anything? No. DSG cooler? No. Seriously? No. You don't need it. Now, once I did get the gearbox warm, it wasn't too hot. It didn't flag up any faults. Yeah. But you could just tell it wasn't shifting happy yeah so yeah. i just cooled it out and then took it inside and left it yeah. for half an hour to cool down so, but other than that i've not had any issues with yeah. it it has got the ia beds baffled some and yeah. then it's also got the cooler from ia beds yeah. uh, and mocal 19 row and then a catch can so it's all pretty good in the oil management it's all set up, it yeah. holds like nine liters of oil roughly wow similar built car to mine but with the alternative gearbox it's just a lot more seamless obviously I mean most of it is pretty obvious to say I do love mine but a part of me does wish that I did get a DSG um, sequential that's, that's the only way to counter it <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah very true but I mean yeah let me know what you think should I bought a DSG do you like the manual in mine should I get a sequential <laughs> I like that one <laughs> yeah yeah one day one day but mate thank you so much for, for coming down if you want to learn more about Henry's build as he keeps on carting it up then, <laughs> then I'll leave his Instagram link down below maybe we should get another track day book soon um, yeah that's it for me today I hope you guys have enjoyed if you have please make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe for all the adventures still to come <laughs>